Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at some changes that were made to pool.pm since uh, my walkthrough video that I did a while back. Um, link to that video right here. So first off, we have uh, a few more currencies. So apart from ADA, BTC, USD, and Euro, we also now have uh, the Japanese Yen, uh, the British Pound, as well as the Canadian Dollar. So now we can look at all the values on the site uh, in those currencies as well. Uh, next up, we can also see a 24 hour load in percentage. So this is calculated based on how full um, the blocks have been in the last 24 hours, um, which leads me to the next thing, which is the um, percent full on the blocks. So now you can see how full um, the blocks are based on the number of transactions and the size of the transactions. Um, so here, for example, we can see uh, this block is 12% full. It only has five transactions and they're uh, somewhat small. And we can scroll down here. Is it 45% full one? Yeah, this one here, for example, is 93% full. It has 58 transactions. And some of these transactions have multiple inputs and outputs. So that makes them uh, larger in size as well. And in addition to the percent full, we also have a number of smart contract transactions that were processed inside of a block. So here we can see uh, two smart contracts have been processed in this block. And next we'll look at the NAMI wallet integration. Um, so now you can delegate to a stake pool using NAMI wallet um, directly through pool.pm. So we'll go ahead and pick a random pool. And now on the side here, you can see a join button. So once you click that, now we'll get a pop-up for the delegation transaction. So two ADA for the delegation deposit and then around uh, 0.17 for the transaction fee. So we'll sign that, type in our password and confirm. And now we can see this wallet is now delegated to uh, the stake pool. And if we go to our wallet, it also shows the stake pool uh, right here. And you can open it up and you can see the ticker and the description of that. Uh, stake pool as well as your um, available rewards. And if your wallet has multiple accounts, you can delegate those to different stake pools. So you can have one delegated to one stake pool and the other one delegated um, to another one. And now let's say you go back to the home screen, you will see a wallet icon on the right hand side. And if you click that, it will return back to your uh, wallet page. And now for tokens, if you click this icon right up here, it opens it up in a uh, full screen view I do have an ultra wide monitor, so the image might be a little bit shifted to the left. And last but not least, you can look at your tokens uh, metadata by copying the um, asset ID. And then you go to cardanoscan.io. You paste in your uh, asset ID right in here. You uh, search. And then uh, here you press the mint transaction tab. And then you click the transaction hash. Then you go down here to the uh, metadata tab, and then you click on the um, item with label 721, and it will open up the um, tokens metadata. So here you can see the uh, policy ID. So if we go back, you can see up here, this matches um, the policy ID right here. And then here you can see um, the asset name as it is stored on the blockchain, um, as well as it's um, the two locations that the image is saved on, and then here we can see the traits and the type, and they're shown the same way over here on pool.pm, traits and type. And yeah, that's it. Uh, make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe so that you stay up to date uh, with any future changes, and I will see you guys next time.